Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to shrink your fitted hats so they fit you just right. If you haven't ordered fitted hats for a while, you might not know that even if you order the same size, they don't fit exactly the same way. I'm going to show you guys every single technique that I know on how to shrink your hat so that it fits you exactly how you want it to. These are both size 7's here, but you can see that this one is a lot smaller because I've shrunk it down to the exact size and fit I wanted to, and this one is a size 7 as well, but it fits like a 7 and 1 8's. As you guys can see, it basically goes right down my forehead basically almost overlaps my ears and covers my eyebrows. Well this one here is a lot snugger on my head and fits exactly how I want it to. I have shrunk this one down, this one still needs a little work to do. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Sheroy and I do videos on sneakers and streetwear and just about anything in between. If you haven't subscribed to this channel before, click that subscribe button down below, leave a thumbs up on this video and comment your hat size down below. My hat size is a size 7 and 6 and 7 8. I have a small head so this shrinking technique works really well for me and has paid off especially because not every single fitted site sells a 6 and 7 8. So trust me, I understand the frustration out there for those small headed people like myself who can't get the exact fit they want out of their fitted hats. I'm going to break this video down, there's going to be markers on every single technique that I have in this video so you can skip ahead to the technique that you want to see or just watch it all the way through and see every single technique and decide what's best for you. Let's get into it. Option number one is actually something that you have to purchase in order to reduce your hat size. What I have up here on the screen for you guys is something called a cap size reducer. Basically it's a felt lining that you put on the inside of your hat and you basically flip out the hat, expose basically the lining of it, and stick it on the inside over here, flip it over, and it adds a little protective layer on the inside and makes it a lot thicker on the sides, so it fits your head a lot more snug as it goes around the hat. It's usually for the back sides of the hat, but you can actually stick it around the hat as well if it's not fitting you right on the sides. Now, the alternative to this is purchase something called moleskins, which is basically like a little heel grip that you can get at any local drugstore of yours. So you can go there, purchase it if you don't want to go on Amazon and purchase a cap size reducer. But I do feel like the cap size reducer is probably going to be easier. It comes in under $10 depending on what you're buying. And if you want to buy a $20 pack, you're going to get a lot of cap size reducers that you can pretty much put in all your fitteds. Now, if you're not interested in that method, Keep watching because there's something here that's a free option to both those methods that I mentioned earlier. If you guys do not want to purchase anything, I'm going to show you guys a free option right now. So if you don't want to put anything sticky on the inside of your hat, you don't want to ruin the guts of your hat, it's okay, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you guys this free solution right now. You ready for it? Yes, it's a paper towel. You're going to take one square of paper towel and you're going to fold it down to basically match the width of your lining over here. So this is going to be folded down to match the size over here. I'm going to quickly do that and we'll continue on. As you guys can see here, I'm just roughly folding it, but you might want to do it just a little better so it looks nicer inside your hat. So I'm folding this paper down over here. This paper towel is folded. It's a little thick right now, but you want to get it just right so it matches the exact width of the inside of your hat. The next step is just to flip over the inside guts over here and basically just line it up against the inside and then fold it back down. So I've actually put the paper towel in one of these hats. I'm gonna give you guys a second to guess which one it's actually inside. It's actually in this one over here, so if you guess this one, it's correct. I actually put it on the inside over here. Now, this one was fitting a little loose as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. Now, you guys can see it fits a little more snug on the sides and you can barely even tell or even notice that there's paper towel on the inside of the hat or the lining. Now the reason I like paper towel compared to actually putting the moleskin or the cap size reducer is not because it's just a free alternative out there, but because you can actually change it. You're sweating all day, you can actually just change the paper towel and it's pretty inexpensive. You can throw the paper towel out, put a new paper towel in. No one's going to notice that you have a paper towel on the inside of your hat. And this is a free alternative to basically buying a cap size reducer and now your hat fits snug and fits you exactly how you want it to. So see here? Basically, there's a paper towel in here, can't even tell because it squishes down as you guys fold it over and it is a little bit thick, but not enough to notice that there's something inside the hat. So a free alternative to the cap size reducer is a simple paper towel folded up matching the lining of your hat. Alright, so the next method I have for you guys involves a little bit of fractions. You want to take a full size piece of paper, cut it into four, and you're left with one fourth of paper right over here. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to use a ruler, do it all nice. You want to use scissors, go for it. I just kind of freehanded it over here and cut one fourth of the paper. What you want to do with that is fold it once, fold it twice, fold it three times, and then you want to fold it a fourth time. 
You guys might be wondering, why am I folding pieces of paper? Am I making origami? No, you're making a little buffer that's gonna go inside your hat. In the close-up here, you can see that there's three labels. The sizing label, the new era label, and the Cooperstown label as well. Now all of these labels have little loops in them, so you can put things inside there. What you're gonna do with the piece of paper is use it as a buffer. As you guys can see, it's a little thick, and you're gonna put it inside the label over here, and it will act as a little bit of a buffer space between your head and the hat, so it fills it out better. If this still doesn't work, you want to fill up the next one over here and the next one over here so you have three little buffer spaces around your hat. As you guys can see, just put it inside and there's a little bit of spacing in there. So that is going to be the buffer space between your head and the hat itself. Like I said earlier, you want to fill these two out as well if it still doesn't fit. Don't worry, it doesn't look weird because on the other side is the Batterman logo here and no one is going to know that you have a piece of paper stuck inside your hat. So don't worry about that. All right, so we have the piece of paper in the back and as you can see, it fits a lot better on my head, a little snug on the sides. Personally, I would still put more paper inside the other two spacings back there, but for the sake of the video, there's only one. And no one's gonna notice that there's a piece of paper back there, as I said earlier. This is a great method if you don't wanna put a cap size reducer in there, if you're scared of like messing up or screwing up the inside of your hat because of the sticky residue that's on the cap size reducer, don't worry about it. If you think a paper towel is silly, don't worry about that. You have a piece of paper at home, pretty easy to do. You can do it almost instantly, and now your hat fits, you're happy, you didn't spend any money, and now your hat fits you perfectly. So that is the other method for you guys. Now on to a very classic method that almost everyone has tried at least once or has heard of in the past. Let's get to it. The next method works really great on wool hats and requires two key pieces of equipment, a hair dryer and some water. The reason I said this method works best for wool over polyester is because it's a little harder to shrink polyester than wool. What you're gonna do is go over to your sink, put it on the hottest water setting you have, and you're gonna soak the inside of your fitted. We're not gonna get the brim wet over here. If it gets a little wet, it's okay, but we're trying to keep the brim dry as possible. You're gonna hit the lining over here and also the entire inside of your hat. Make sure you get the lining because this is the part that basically is going to shrink the most around your hat. We're trying to make sure and focus on this area, but we're gonna try to shrink the rest of the hat as well. So we're gonna get it nice and soaked. Once you've soaked it for a few minutes, and it's pretty much soggy, the hat is dripping water from every single angle, all you're gonna do is take your dryer, put it on the hot setting, and you're just gonna dry the inside over here. Like I said, we're focused on the lining, so we're just gonna spend a few minutes on the lining, going entirely around it, and we're gonna focus on the inside of the hat as well. We're gonna go over the buckram as well, but you do not wanna burn the buckram over here, which is the white part of the hat, as you can see. You're not gonna focus too much on that, but we are gonna try to dry it just a little bit so it's not soaking. And basically when the buckram is wet, you can also play around with the front of the hat and try to shape it if it's a little too boxy on the sides for you. So you're just gonna warm it up a little bit. And if you wanna basically play around with the shape, you can press down on the sides or cup it with your hands and you'll be able to change the shape of the front of your hat. But if you're not too focused on that, like I said earlier, do not try to completely dry this because you don't want this part to burn, it might ruin your hat. We're focused on the back over here, and we're focused on the lining. If it's a wool hat, it's gonna fit you nice and snug, and it's gonna basically wrap around your head exactly how you want it to. This is the best method and the most classic method on shrinking your fitted hat, and if you haven't tried it before, give it a try now. If you have a wool hat, it'll work perfectly. If you have a polyester hat, it might not work exactly how you want it to, and the next method I have for you guys is probably gonna work the best for a polyester hat or a wool hat. Doesn't matter, any kind of hat, this is the best shrinking method out there but it does require a little work, so be careful. The final method I have to share today is a little dangerous, so if you are under the age of 16, I would say ask an adult for help or try some of the other methods over this one. The reason I say it is because it requires an oven. Now that sounds kind of crazy, but hear me out. Basically, polyester is a lot harder to shrink with the dryer. When you soak your entire fitted, as we mentioned earlier, you're gonna have your fitted nice and soaked, it's wet. When you put it inside an oven, it's basically concentrated heat from all angles hitting it and it's gonna shrink your fitted hat. If I haven't lost you yet, I'm gonna walk you through how to do this process and believe me when I say it is the best process for shrinking your fitted hat, but it is a little dangerous, so be careful. If you are a minor, make sure you have some supervision or the help of an adult and don't be careless with this method, guys, because you can burn pretty much everything around you and not just your fitted hat. So be very careful with this and I'm gonna show you guys how to basically bake a fitted hat and shrink it 
just right. Just like the previous method, you want to fill up the entire hat with piping hot water and try to avoid getting the brim wet, but if it gets a little wet, it's okay. Just fill up the entire hat with piping hot water. You essentially want it soaked. And when I mean soaked, it should still be dripping a little bit of water when you're done this process. As far as the oven instructions go, what you want to do is heat up your oven to 300 degrees. Basically, you want to keep it at 300. It's very crucial to have it heated up to 300. You can basically soak your hat while the oven is heating up. The next step is to get a flat cookie tray, take a little bit of tin foil, cover the tray. Do not put your hat directly on the cookie tray or a tin pan, it will burn. Do not do that. Make sure it's on the tin foil. Place it there and you want to put it in your oven for about five to six minutes. No longer than that. Make sure you're standing close by, you're supervising the entire process in case something goes wrong. It has never gone wrong for me but you're putting a hat in an oven, so just monitor it closely. Once you take it out of the oven, you can put it in a dryer to shrink it even more, or you can wait for it to cool down just a little bit and put it on your head so it shapes the hat perfectly to your head shape. And then you wanna basically put it to the side and let it cool off, and that is how you shrink your fitted hat in an oven. Sounds scary, but believe me, it works. It doesn't mess up the hat at all. This pink brim isn't burnt, it doesn't look like toast, so don't worry about it. Just make sure you're watching it closely. It's an expensive item and also it could be very dangerous if something were to go wrong. So just monitor it closely as I mentioned earlier. You're basically hitting it from heat from all sides and that shrinking action is going around the entire hat. So you basically end up with a nice snug hat and basically a baked fresh good item over here which is your fitted extra fresh straight out the oven or straight out the dryer if you do that additional step and your fitted hat will fit you just right and it doesn't mess up the color at all. The blue hasn't faded, don't worry about it. No matter what the color is, you should be perfectly fine. All right, so that is every single method I know on how to shrink your fitted hat. Let me know if you've tried any of these methods in the past or if you're curious about it. Let me know which method you're gonna try down in the comment section below. If there's a method I haven't mentioned, leave it down in the comment section below so you can help somebody out. Thank you guys for all the support you've shown me on this channel so far. And that is it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.